Alright, so this deck revolves around Melteel, Sage of the Sky, the lesser used of the counter fairies, but then again, the only one that's actually useful is Artemis, so all the other ones are going to be kind of more of a gimmick. This one right here, whenever a counter trap is activated, you gain a thousand life points. That's a nice way to offset life point pain counter trap cards like Solemn, Sco Solemn Warning and Solemn Scolding. You don't really see Solemn Scolding play that much, but I actually get it off quite a few times with this deck, even though you can't have any other set cards while it's out and it costs 3,000 life points to use, but you can negate pretty much anything. Spell and trap cards, monster effects, and summons. So it's pretty good if you're able to pull it off. And its second effect, Sage of the Sky, if you have the Sanctuary in the Sky out on the field, you can also destroy a card your opponent controls. And since this happens as like part of a... I don't know, it happens at a weird phase where you can't react to it, so you can't just like chain effects that would prevent destructions like uh, Divine Dragon Knight. So you could pretty much destroy anything that you know doesn't already have innate immune destruction like Silent Honor Knight. So it's pretty fun to just destroy cards and monsters that they didn't know they couldn't protect. And plus, being able to destroy a card uh, after negating one of your opponent's cards effect is just like salt in the wounds. It's really it's a really nice effect if you can get out the sanctuary in the sky, but he's also like really weak just like Artemis, only sixteen hundred attack. But he is a light fairy type monster and light types do have some really good support in the form of Star Liege with the XYZs. And I also added in Agent of Mystery Earth, that way I could search out Master Hyperion if the Sanctuary in the Sky is out, because Hyperion's really good with this deck. Uh, but I didn't think really think that was necessary. I could probably just substitute all these cards out for like some summoner monks or something. I don't know. And Van Dalgon, the dra Dragon Lord, he worked out great in this deck, but then he always does. There's also this uh, very... what's the word for it? It's a counter trap card that you can only use while the Sanctuary Sky is out on the field. And when the Sanctuary Sky is out on the field, you can basically negate any effect, trap, or monster effect. So it's kind of like a solemn scolding, except it doesn't work on summons. But you can only use it while Sanctuary Sky is on the field, and it doesn't cost anything but the card itself. So that's also really nice. It's a really nice counter trap card you can use if you're running Sanctuary in the Sky. The only problem with Sanctuary in the Sky is Sanctuary in the Sky it doesn't do anything. It just, you don't take uh, battle damage if you're a fairy type monster. So it's kind of bad, but there are a lot of monsters that rely on its effect to do stuff, and Divine Punishment is just really good if you're able to get out the Sanctuary in the Sky. That's why I'm running like four searches for this card. I'm running the triple Herald of the Heavens plus one Terraform. I was actually thinking about running the second Terraform just because of how much I really need Sanctuary to be out on the field, and I just wasn't drawing it.